Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. Uh, this is like episode 20. Who knows? We've been working. <laughs> 20, 20, 21, 21, 21. Uh, but we have uh, eight lovely ladies on a panel today, and uh, we're going to have fun. Um, talk dating and relationships like usual. So let's get into it uh, with ladies introducing themselves. So we're going to start here. Can I have your name, age, and where you're from? I'm Naj, 25, and I'm from New York. Naj, 25, from New York. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I'm a registered nurse. You are? I am. Med surge, telly, uh, operating op- room. Op- OR. Okay. okay, you in the OR room. You take those contracts? Those <laughs> nursing contracts? Listen, I just graduated. I'm doing my one year, and okay. then I travel. Okay, and then you're going to start traveling. So Absolutely. when you start traveling, come talk to me, because that's what I do. I'm a medical agent. I got many, right. many, many things. But, yeah, no, seriously. When you really, do want to start traveling, hit me up. I'm going to bless you. You want to go to Florida? You want to go to Cali? <laughs> okay. You want to go to You want to go to Hawaii? I'm going to send you there. I'm going to put some good money in your pocket. I'm going to hold but you to that. We locked in. <laughs> Ain't no um, <laughs> <laughs> she got you on the candy camera. You can't lie yeah. now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a really blessed. I got I'm you. A, I, I'm a <laughs> Um, relationship status. It's very single. Very. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> single. You put a very in it. What nigga done Yeah, nigga? like, super single that I have, like, cobwebs. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right, so you super single. Super. So if you, you speaking like that, it's not guess, that gives me permission to ask when the last time you had sex. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Probably, like, uh, like two weeks ago. <laughs> cobwebs? No, cobwebs? Yeah. Mom, me personally, like Cobweb, super single. <laughs> and he over two weeks ago, getting your jaw Two talks. weeks ago, though, that's too long okay. for me okay. personally. Okay, right. okay. got gotcha. you. Too long. Gotcha. I respect okay. that. Listen, right? Are you mad? Question for you. And I'm so bad with names. Give me your name one more Naj. time. Naj. Naj. When was your last relationship? My last real relationship or my last flop? Let's say real. Real, maybe like three years ago. Okay, and let's say flop. Mm, like a couple months ago. A couple months ago. Okay. How'd that nigga flop? Because he was a liar and a cheater, and those are the number two things <sighs> that I cannot lie stand. And cheat. <laughs> You're going to have to get over that because that's No, man. I just feel like that's not acceptable, though. I mean, everybody, I guess people fib like they lie yeah a little lie is not hard to get over okay. but cheating is just for me it's that's just something that i'm not really let me ask you a question i mean and get around the panel but <laughs> <laughs> i mean martin luther king cheated but that was martin luther king Ooh. oh so another question for you real quick and then we're gonna move on so i want you the first one quick question so you said, but that was Martin Luther King, meaning that he's a man of status. He's a man that I mean, accomplished things. So question for you, if you found a guy that was accomplished, had some status, was a man of value, would you turn a blind eye to that cheating? I wouldn't. Dang. So even wouldn't. Martin Luther King would have. Even Martin Luther King. Couldn't have made it with you. No. I just feel like there's just boundaries, and cheating is just one thing that I just I do not accept. Okay. Regardless cool. of who you are. All right, we're going to move thing. it along to, uh, can you introduce yourself, name, age, and where you're from? Yes, um, my name is Mo. I'm 29, and I'm from New York. Mo, 29, from New York. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a journalist. Okay. So you're going to write a story about this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You know what this nigga was? He didn't have no food here. No straws. No straws. No straws. No straws. So. Mike, Mike did. Mike came up with the straws. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Mike. I'm a producer, Mike. Mike, bro. I'm a journalist. I'm an associate editor. So I'm actually not, like, I'm. I write stories, but I also edit them, too. Write stories and you edit stories. Okay. And how long have you been doing that for? Just wondering. So um, I graduated in 2019, and I got a job right after. So okay. Ever since then. Dang, has it been that Good. long? <laughs> you go, girl. Wow. Do it. Good for you. And relationship status? Um, Single. Single? Mm-hmm. Okay. How long? 
Whew, three years. <laughs> three years. Mm -hmm. She put a who? <laughs> you said who? Three years. So that that's like, oh, you uh, you want a man? No. No. This is stressful. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I don't a want a man. Because who was a who? Three years been because a long time. Because I couldn't, I did not even realize it's been that long. Okay. But no, I don't want a man. <laughs> you don't want to, okay. We gonna get into that. <laughs> you know, see, I ain't even gonna, we gonna get into that. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Um, Welcome Angelina. Back. Thank you. Angelina. It's a pleasure. Yes. Uh, Angelina, yeah. uh, age and where are you from? 25 and from Allentown. Word. That's cool. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm an assistant manager with my store manager right here. <laughs> hey, we got the, we got the assistant manager, the store manager. So what's good? Can I get a discount? That's my boss, Dang. so I'm going to let her answer. Dang, that's messed up. What had happened was... Um, <laughs> Someone start the conversation with what, right. what happened was. There's a check-in and a savings. <laughs> 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 what Kevin Hart said, you got to move. Right. Mm. I have my people call your people. Okay. I'll okay. shoot you an email. <laughs> <laughs> Angelina, um, relationship status? Private. Private? Yeah, privacy is peace. Ooh. Okay. I love that. Last time you was on here, you ain't say private. I didn't. So that means that last time he was, <laughs> or someone was, or you was, uh, you know, not really locked in. Locked in. Thank you. No, I was, I was chilling. I was but chilling the last time I was here. But now you more locked in. Yeah. Okay, good for you. Thank you. Good for you. Um... I got some stuff, and I'm, I'm going to let you rock right now. I'm going to let you breathe. Tanika, what's up, baby girl? Hey, Welcome what's going back. on? Thank you. Uh, I mean, No Fugazi Podcast, you've been, your clip's been going pretty viral, so just introduce yourself, uh, name, well, age, where you from? Tanika, 26. I live in Allentown. Word. And what do you do for a living? I'm a store manager. Store manager. That's what's up. Relationship status? Taken. Taken. Still yeah, taken. Still taken. <laughs> my man, my man, my man. <laughs> see, look, see, that's when you see it's so beautiful to hear. When you hear a woman praise her man like that, that nigga in that number one position. But then the over here, she said, Hold on, I never said. Nah, he knows who he is. He's number one for sure. Right, he knows right. who he is. Okay, he know who he is. I'm going to let it ride. <laughs> Moving right along. To you over here, uh, name, age, and where are you from? I'm Jaylene. I turned 28 on Saturday, Gemini, okay. and I'm I live in Bethlehem. Originally from the Bronx. Nice. Originally from the Bronx. You live in Bethlehem. Yes. And you said you turned 29. 28 on Saturday. Oh, 28 oh. on Saturday. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Um, what do you do for a living? I work for a workers comp. Workers' comp. Mm -hmm. All right, so when a nigga get hurt. Right. Hey, listen, no one's talking to fall in here. Uh, uh, we don't need you uh, talking to this lady over here. It's over for you. I'm about to fall right now. <laughs> now that I know. And relationship status? Single. Single. Say that with confidence. I do. How long you been single for? Six months. Six months? Okay, you're new to it. Living my best life. You living your best? You chilling. You having fun. I am. It's summer too? I am. Hot girl summer or no? Hot, hot, hot girl, girl or cold? summer, but respectfully. Respectfully. Uh, right. Okay. Yes. I'm here for that. Yeah, okay. Here for hot that. girl summer, but, but respectfully. respectfully. You going to put a period on that? Period. Uh, <laughs> and uh, can you serve the mic to your friend over here? Introduce yourself, name, age, and where you from? I'm Chaz. I'm 27 years old. And I'm from the Bronx. Okay, 27 from the Bronx. Um, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a contractor for New York Presbyterian. So I basically transfer um, blood work and semen into the labs. Yeah. You be collecting babies? Yeah. 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 You, a, you a daycare. Basically. <laughs> Not a daycare. Okay. <laughs> you, the, you the world's biggest daycare. Same <laughs> Nigga, one load is like 80 million. Yeah. So, yeah, all right, cool. You looking after the next generations. Um, <laughs> relationship status. I'm in a relationship. Okay. okay. Five First, years. Second one, five, five years. Five years, yeah. Okay. And a uh, lot of work, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all got kids together? No, not yet. We're you trying got, to wait. 
You waiting. Yeah. Okay. Trying to have fun. Trying to have fun. Five years, no kids. All yeah. right, but that's good. That's yeah. a good thing. Moving right along to yourself. Name, age, where My you name from? is Shalomar. I'm from New York. Shalomar from New York. Mm-hmm. Um, and what do you do for a living? So I'm a store manager. I'm also a nail tech, and I have a boutique online, and I have a detox business. Dang. You got more jobs than a Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. We don't have that many jobs, okay? <laughs> don't look at me. I'm not trying to get <laughs> Uh, yeah. I miss your age. How old are you? 30. 30. Okay. So far, oldest one on the panel? Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. So far. So far, are you next? Um, <laughs> I'm not that old. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's not old. <laughs> I ain't that old. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, relationship status? Single. Single. Mm-hmm. With confidence. How long have you been single for? Two years. Two years? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, yourself? Name, age, and where are you from? I'm CC. I'm 26, and I live in Easton. CC, 26, live in Easton. Uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a CNA slash unit clerk at a nursing home. Okay. Good for you at a nursing home. Okay. Medical field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Essential. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, good. Um, and relationship status? Single. Single for how long? Three years. Three years. Okay. Name one thing you did wrong in a relationship and one thing he did wrong in a relationship. How you know it's a male? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Spicy. 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 So you shooting off both ends of the court. Yes. Okay. So you was in a was it a long term relationship with this woman? Uh, yes. Nah, I'll say short term. Question. Um, cause it's always a top and a bottom or like a more, <laughs> a more of a masculine and more of a okay. feminine. So who, were you the more of the feminine? We were two feminine women. Y'all two femmes. Two femmes. Oh, that Damn. relationship was late. That <laughs> <laughs> relationship was late. <laughs> okay. Two femmes. Dang. So there's a lot of scissoring going on. Uh, let's, you know why. Let's get into the first question. Like, strap-ons don't exist. Go right. ahead, though. Let me get into mm-hmm. that at another at a later time. <laughs> so before I jump into the first question of the podcast, I like to leave it up t- for the ladies. Um, does anyone have any questions first? They wanna, you know, jump off. No? So I don't have any questions that I want to get off my chest, but yeah. I might have a question like later on. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually give it, turn it over to you ladies to ask any questions that you want at towards the end of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so first question, and we're gonna. I started with you introducing yourself. So we're gonna start with you. And I'm sorry, you said your name was Jaylene. Jaylene. Okay. So here's the first question. Uh, do you think you deserve a better man than your father? If so, then name two things that you're better than your mom and your grandmother. <laughs> well, damn. <Thank you. laughs> All right. Let's start. With one part of that question. One part of the question. So what's so the first, first question part? Is uh, do you think you deserve a man that's better than your father? Absolutely do. Okay. Now name. Let's just name one. Name one thing. Um, let's see how I worded this. <laughs> yeah. Really? Name really? one thing um, that you are better than than your mom or your grandmother in. And then my mom communication. Okay, you can communicate. What about your grandma? I, I never met her. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, no worries. Okay, cool. So, but you do think you deserve a man better than your father. And you get swivel the mic to yourself. Uh, what about yourself? Um, I mean, my dad was in my life, and he was a big role model. So I do feel like I need a man kind of like the man that I have in my life now kind of resembles, you know, hardworking, okay, to, good. you know, to the bag, you know, like, and... You know, that's what I kind of need in my life because it okay. kind of pushes me yeah. to do good and, and push up. And what was the other question? The other, well, so so you pretty much saying that you kind of already got that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you already yeah. got that. So now the next question is um, name something that you're better, um, that you're better in than your mom or your grandmother. Um, 
She said communication. She said her mom can't communicate. That's messed up. I mean, sometimes, like, she can be ignorant. Okay. So certain situations, like, like so our saying, generation and then their generation, like. So you say you have, like, better temperament than your mom, would you say? Some, not really, because I have worse temperament. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you got her temperament, okay. But, like, to certain things, like, in their generation, they don't understand, like, us. Yeah. So she's kind of ignorant in certain ways, but, yeah. All right, so you're saying you're pretty much, like, less ignorant. Yeah, type shit. That goes okay, Would you cool. say you're more understanding than she is? Yes, that's good. Yeah, thank you. It's a naked clutch. <laughs> um, and yourself? Oh, um... So do yeah. you think you deserve a man that's better than your daddy? In ways, yes. Okay. Certain um, ways, yes. But yeah. certain ways, I would, like parts of him and parts my man mm-hmm. okay cool um and then the next question uh name two things that make you better than your mom or grandmother <sighs> my mom was a g so i ain't never gonna be better than ain't that okay I, <laughs> but let's just make that clear Word. um however if i really had to dig deep i would just say choosing me first like i think i'm better at like putting me before i put other people Okay, so you say your mom was, she was like, oh, the homeless man on the street, let's help him. Just yeah. like, you know, yeah, she put the, a lot of family members and people before herself, and okay. I feel like I have better self-worth. She got, the, she got there, but it was too late. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. My grandmother, Yeah. just, I'm way more nicer and understanding than her. She's, you know, she's from the old days, so she don't play. She still had plastic on the couch? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she was just like, it's like, she all right, Grandma, time. calm down. You could be a little bit more nicer yeah, than that. Yeah, she was strict then. Yeah, so, Pitting you know, fast. I would okay. say, you know, that'll run any man away, I think. <laughs> 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 oh, definitely got that a little better than that, yeah. All right, cool. And yourself? Um, is that close enough? Just, yeah, you can swing it a little closer to you. That's good. I think you fine. I think it's good. Yeah. Um, can you repeat your question again? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> do you think you deserve a man that's better than your father? So my dad was active, but he wasn't active. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. In the way that he could have been more active. All right. Now name two things that make you better than your mom or your grandmother. Oh, my patience. Patience. Yeah. All right. Um, who else? Did anyone else say patience? No? No, he said temperament. Temperament, okay. Yeah, patience is cool. All right, um, moving right along. So, I love my dad. He's the most amazing father. When I say he's made it happen for me since I was a kid, first of all, I'm an immigrant. I wasn't born here, Mm -hmm. and it was automatically hard for us. My mom never worked. To this day, she doesn't work. And he made ends meet, did everything that he could so that she could have whatever she wanted Mm -hmm. and we could have whatever we wanted. If I could find a man like my father, I would never complain. Cool. And the question is, do you think you deserve him? Of course. (laughs) Okay, good. Of course I deserve a man. Like I, dad, or better, or like your dad, or better than you. I don't know if there is better. All right, I so mean, that means there you, is. you think highly of your dad. That's I, a good thing. I really do. All right, good. Uh, now the next question is: um, uh, name one or two things that make you better than your mom or your grandmother. <laughs> oh, my mom. Mm. She is. She's a pain in my ass. But <laughs> better than her, I'm definitely more patient. Like okay. she's very. Like she had said, ignorant. Did you say ignorant? Yeah. My mom can be very ignorant. We don't agree ever on a lot of things. Yeah. I'm the more neutral. I can understand why one person feels this way and the other person feels that way. If she feels one way, that's it. You can't, there's no opposing her. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You'll say that you're a little bit more empathetic. I'm empathetic for sure. Okay. And my grandmother... We don't really have that much of a relationship, so... I mean, I love her. She's my grandmother, but she's probably the reason why my mom is the way that she is. Got it. 
And moving right along to yourself, you said your name was again? Mo. Mo. I'm going to remember that. That's Man. fairly, because you look like a Mo. Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Your brother named Randy. I mean, your brother named Ray J? No, I'm playing with you. <laughs> uh, so, do you think you deserve a man that's better than your father? Um, that is a bit of a complicated question for me to answer. Okay. Because I have, I like to say I have four parents. Um, I was adopted. Okay. So, um, all of my parents are very much equally in my life now. Good. But they all, they weren't always. So, I think when it comes down to both my dads, I, there's things that I would like from both of them. So, yes and no, if that makes sense. Like, I can't have both of them, obviously. And they're both yeah. two different people. But they, if I could build off of their traits, so there's something I would better. get from them. Yeah, you, you yeah, think so. you deserve someone better. Okay, and then the next question is, name one or two things that make you better than your mom or your grandmother. Um, so I would have to piggyback and say I have more patience than both of my mothers had, I think. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or had and Both had. of them? Yes. Okay. Um, they, yeah. Yeah, that's all I can say. Well, they both like, put that down, girl, for you. For you. Okay. At the Why? same time. <laughs> Why is this grain of rice on the floor? No, we we okay. come from that, seriously. Word, word. Um, all right, cool. And Angelina, what about you? Do you think you deserve a man that's better than your father? Um, Honestly, I think I would want somebody completely different. Different better so no so no okay cool um so name two things that makes you better than your mom or your grandmother um i don't know honestly it's like kind of hard to compete with my mom my mom she she did what she did like for us growing up so yeah. i give her lots of credit and praise like just as the woman that she is i don't think i could really do anything better than her for real word okay cool uh no, nothing you could do better so yeah she's superwoman um let's go <laughs> back to because you said that you don't think that you deserve a guy that's better than your dad you think you deserve someone different so explain why um i just don't really respect my father as a man like he wasn't there when i was okay. growing up so I want something like completely different. I want somebody that is very involved. So that will be equal to better. better. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then I misunderstood the question. My fault. No, no, you're fine. That equal to better. So do you think you deserve? Yeah, that's somebody. Better? Yeah. That's All right, cool. That's yeah, that's good. And um, Tanika, what about you? Um, my dad's situation is complicated. <laughs> um, I feel like if he had the chance, he would have been a good dad. Um. And he was, but I don't remember that part. Mm -hmm. So I would say from what I've learned from, like, family members telling me stories, I have a man like my dad. Okay. So you're saying that you have and a man And how like he, like, catered to me when I was younger, um, how attentive and involved he was in my younger years. Your current man is like um, Yes, I have. I now have a man that was, like, that nurtures me like my dad did. Word. That's what's up. Um, good. And still, name uh, two things that make you better than your mom or your grandmother. Um, I mean, I love them both. <laughs> Even though my mom is really annoying. Um, we two are immigrants. I was born in Jamaica. Oh, um, that's why when I was talking about Jamaican, like, <laughs> you don't stop. <laughs> I go I'm hard for y'all. Do you hear me? <laughs> um... <laughs> But um, born in Jamaica, she came here before me. She left me with my grandparents. Um, so she did a lot for me um, yeah. to be where I am today. But my mom does have an accountability problem, and I feel like mm. that's what I do better that's a good one. than her. Okay. okay, you take accountability more than your mom's. Yes. Word. That is unique perspective to hear coming from what are you gen z i don't know no? 26 Millennium? i don't pay attention 26? to that stuff i'm my age <laughs> damn it and i do what i do gen z is after us okay i oh, guess y'all millennials. millennials um cool with that being said uh, any questions 
Anyone? Cool. We're moving right along. Let's start with, we started with you. So we're going to start, we're going to come. Tanika, I'll start with you. Uh, actually, we can't start with you. Uh, <laughs> Dang. Because <laughs> you be, you going to influence the other girls. You've been, you've been, wow. You've been, you've been, you've been wow. Like, you going to influence the rest of them. Uh, let's go with you. Me? Yeah. Uh, question is, who needs to love the other person more in order for the relationship to work, the man or the woman? Damn, we're going there. So I feel like it needs to be 50 50, but it is. Like, but it never is 50 50. Yeah, it's never 50 50. Never. So who? Man or woman? In order for the relationship to work? I feel like personally, the man needs to love the woman more. But that's because us as females, we are very emotional with our feelings. We lay them out on the line. Whereas I feel like men don't. Okay. So. The man needs to love the woman more. Hmm. Moving right along with yourself. Who needs to love the other person more in order for the relationship to work? From a woman's if point you of view. Put the mic a little closer. Oh. From a woman's point of view, um, I would say definitely the man. Okay. Yeah, I would say the man because. I mean, women, we, like, naturally love hard for the most part. And I feel like if the man loves more, like, it won't be so easy to, like, kind of, like, die down fast, if that makes sense. Like, you know, sometimes a woman could be, like, extra with it and it can be a lot. But when a man's doing it, it's more, it feels it feels different. Reassuring. Yeah, like, it's, so we, we feel reassured. Is... We feel, you know, we feel wanted. We feel needed. Then that makes us be better in the relationship. Whereas sometimes when a woman is, like, overpowering, it could kind of, like, turn a man off. Like, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's better when the man... But sometimes it could get tricky because... Mm -hmm. Sometimes as women, a, you go ahead and sometimes as women, like, I kind of call it a little toxicity, but, like, with women, we kind of push away when the man loves right. more. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you kind of being a too I much. Yeah. Get a little. Yeah. So it, it's yeah. kind of hard, but me personally, I would rather the man be more because that's going to make me perform at my best all over in the relationship. Generally mm -hmm. speaking, who do you think should love more? <sighs> I have to go with the man. Okay. You, yeah. you was getting that something. I'm, I'm gonna I'm bring it full circle, mm -hmm. but you, you, you're smart. You got it. You got some stuff good. Let's move right along. <laughs> <laughs> you're not stupid, you. There was right. You was on point, but you on. You gonna bring it full circle. All right. So, what was the question? Yeah. The question, <laughs> the question is, who should love the other person more in order for the in order for the relationship to work, the man or the woman? All right. First of all, in order for the relationship to work, before y'all love each other, whoever love who, you gotta love yourself first before you guys get to, you know, play a part with each other. If you don't love yourself. There's going to be a lot of controversy in the relationship, and there's going to be a lot of arguments and disagreements, and it's going to go left eventually, you okay. know? But I feel like, like, I don't know which one said, 50-50. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, yeah, a man loving a woman overall is more powerful than a woman loving a man. And let me let me let me say why though. Okay, all right, all right. Into it. okay. So you choose so a man. Okay. I feel like a man, when a woman loves a man more, a lot of shit go left. Like I feel like a man is gonna is gonna say like, oh, you know, like, can I curse? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this bitch is annoying. Whatever, whatever. But I feel like when a man loves a woman, I don't know, like. It's just, it's just something about a man loving a woman, like, it's different. It's not... It brings out the best in a yeah, woman. Yeah, it really like, does. It, really it, really does. Really, it makes us, like, you know, glow and, and everything. And, and once again, the question is not saying that the man isn't going to be loving a woman. It is not saying that the woman isn't going to be loving a man. The question is that who should love the person more in order for the relationship to work? I feel like a man does. Okay, cool. Okay. And what about yourself? <laughs> 
I'm going to be the one to switch it up a little bit. Okay. Mama. And I'm going to say the woman needs to love a man a little bit more. And why? And my number one reason is because, for example, if you're with a man and let's say he goes broke, he loses his job, are you going to stay with that man? If mm -hmm. you're, maybe if you're deeply in love, but... I'm spitting now. Got then you spitting. flip it the other way around because I've been in relationships for a while. If a man has his pockets full, he's always going to help his woman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could not have a job. You could be a stay-at-home mom and he's going to hold you down. But how many stay-at-home dads do you see? You feel me? So Shorty's spitting now. <laughs> so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the woman, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like the logic. Thank you very much. And we're going to move it right on. Skip to Nika. We're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like it should definitely be the man. Not to say that it's not the woman's job to love as hard. But men are just, for me, like, I feel like they're very unsure. You can show them as much love as possible. First of all, it has to be the right man. Because not every man is unsure. This is just... Yeah, yes. You know, mm -hmm. speaking about the right man. The right, if it's the, yeah, right, it's the man, right man, yes, of course. If a man is supposed to lead, I follow your lead. That's it. If I know that and I feel that and you show me that the love is strong, then I'm going to follow that and I'm going to give you 100% of what you're giving me. And that's just it. I follow. I follow your lead. Okay. I want. A man that is sure about his woman and what he wants and shows the love, and I will show that love right back. Cool. I'll give a little pushback. I ain't give none yet. It's just, sorry. Just on you. And it's not it's nothing that you said. Um, but everyone's choosing a man. So, question for you, right? Um, is it safe to say when a man, since you said the, the whole leader, you know what yeah. I mean? The man is supposed to lead the relationship, right? And a follow and then that means if he's leading, then that means that he has a follower, right? Is it safe to say with a leader and a follower, who do you think should really now it's a relationship for it to work? Who do you right. think should really like lead who do you think should really love more? The follower or the leader that's leading? The leader should love more. Okay, you sure about that? I'm positive. All the right. leader should love more. Cool. Um, we gonna move it right along to yourself. Okay, so can you repeat the question? Yeah, who do you think should love more in a relationship, the man or the woman, and why? Um, I think the man. I think well, okay. Before I say what I am going to say, mm -hmm. I think that a lot of times these things are a lot more complicated than just who should love more, the man or the woman. It's different in every situation. But if we both have agreed to be into this relationship together. I feel like the man should love more because at the end of the day, like women are naturally nurturing. We automatically want to make a home for you. We want to do everything that it is that you want us to do because that's that's in our nature. We, you know, have kids. We want mm -hmm. them to grow up and be beautiful healing beings yeah. like so when you're just in a relationship and it's just you and that man you don't have like he's the only one that you can kind of nurture and give that love to so automatically you're just going to flow it out of you but the man he he's not naturally that right yeah. so he's not naturally nurturing not nurturing but he uh so I see your logic. You're you're looking at the woman. The man needs to love more because the woman is naturally just, you know, loving because she's yeah. nurturing. <laughs> is it safe to say that the man is naturally loving because he's naturally being a leader and he's naturally protecting and providing? So he naturally is just loving? It does, the love does look different. So let me, let me rephrase that. The love does look different, but most times in what I have seen, when the man loves the woman more, it works. If the woman doesn't, if the woman loves the man more, like she said before, he might get, get annoyed with her. He might not accept it the way that she's giving it. You can't give 
it too much because not every man is going to want that. They might think that you're too clingy. Okay, question for you. I'm sure you have guys in your DMs. For example, if you got two chads, they're both attractive, both physically attractive, right? The mm -hmm. first chad, he DMs you and says, hey, beautiful, how are you? He leaves mm -hmm. it there. Now you're at work, you're busy, you're doing your thing. What'd you say you do again? Oh, you're I'm a journalist. Doing... So you write writing whatever journalists do. They report and write and do some mm -hmm. stuff. Doing your journalism. And uh, two hours go by. And my, matter of fact, you, you get this DM. You didn't look at it, though, right? Uh, then you get another DM from the second chat. He says, hey, beautiful, how are you? Now, at the end of the day, when you finally look at your phone from doing all of your journalism work, you see the first chat, he just DM'd you, hey, beautiful, how are you? The second chat, he DM'd you and said, hey, beautiful, how are you? But then he DM'd you again and said, yo, no response. Then he DM'd you again and sent you a meme. Then he DM'd you again like, listen, girl, I'm trying to get to know you. What's oh, that's up? That's harassment. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, hold on, hold on. So my question is Blocked. this. Mm -hmm. So you got those two chats. Which chat, now, after you done with your work day, which chat, now, they're physically the same person. Like, they look good. Tall muscles, whatever the <clears throat> archetype guy that you like. Which chat... When you look at the messages, it's more attractive. Let the first one with one DM, don't explain, I just choose it. The first one with the one DM or the second one with the multiple DMs? Is more attractive. Which one is more attractive? It's, I'm sorry, it's too complex. It's more, com first off, let's just say, if you're in my DM, you're probably not going to yeah, get you answered. <laughs> Let's just say that. Let's just say DMs. that. And then the second thing, my DM is very dry <laughs> because a lot of people don't get out okay. of it. Uh, so let's just say those two things for anybody that might have their preconceptions of what is in my DM. Right? <laughs> um, and the second, and the second thing is, believe it or not, I'll probably answer the one who has, um message me multiple times um explain your logic well based off of what you said just to tell him that that's not the way that he should be talking to me <laughs> okay so the, the question is i didn't say that the question is who's more attractive the way that you set up the one who said the mess sent the messages three times he just is not attractive who's okay who talks so to a woman and says yo uh, it, 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 don't go with the context of what i'm saying I'm go sorry. with what's being said so let me simplify it for you right Two attractive men, the one DMs you, he sends you one message. The other one DMs you, he sends you four messages in only a matter of, what, a job is eight hours? Eight hours went by. They both look the same. Who's more attractive? The yo beautiful is not going to get a response from me. Or hey no, no, beautiful. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 look at the, the context. Hey, I'm saying I said a message the one, now. The one who sent the one message is not going to get a response from okay, me. Okay, so the from one my that history, sent... If you send me multiple messages, I see persistence and I say, okay, maybe this is somebody who I want to talk to. But if they said what you said, they would not get okay, a response so from cool. me. So your logic is saying that you like the guy that's doing the most yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, because I know that I'm going to do the most. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I know how I am. I need somebody who's going to do the most do you, because I do the question most. Question for you. Do you leave guys on unread? On unread? Yeah. Like, don't open it up. Yeah, all. you don't like, open it up. Sometimes. Okay, so you leave guys on unread. Now, why do you leave those guys on unread? Because they didn't send multiple messages. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even know if they sent multiple messages. Oh, yeah, you can hold just... the message down. <laughs> you can hold the message you, down. They got that on? Yeah. Not Instagram, anymore. Instagram, you can't do it. Instagram, you can't do it. Not anymore. Not Instagram, Instagram, now. Instagram, it shows you, like, four-plus messages. Five right. Right. Yeah. 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 I just physically first though. Like I'll look at their page. I'll be like, ah, oh, he's not my type, so I'm not even gonna waste his time. Well, you gotta react. That's why I leave them on unread. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not we even gonna, gonna lie. We gonna move on. I think you capping though. I think you're a little gazy with that answer. <laughs> <laughs> because you know good and well the dude that sends a whole lot of messages is just unattractive. Absolutely. Um, but I'm gonna let you rock with that. Uh, cause from what you were saying, I was putting that to your other logic. But yeah, I think you've seen where I was going for, so you want to be a contrarian. But anyways, moving right <laughs> along. Angelina, uh, who should love the other person more, the man or the woman? Um, I think I'm going to say I think the woman should love more. Okay. Word. Why? Only because, like, we are, like, like 
everyone is kind of saying, we are naturally more loving in a sense. Uh But I feel like, number one, if you're loving the right man too much, he's not going to get annoyed with you. Like, I feel like, and I'm I'm only looking at you because you were the one who brought it up. Mm. So I feel like if that's the right man for you and you're loving him too hard, and he gets annoyed by that shit. But see, Baby, I, you gotta I can go. bring it back to this. Like, if you got the right man, 50-50 is fine, too. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like... But if, also, 50-50 if you have is the fine. right man, you have no problem loving more. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Just At because all. that man is going to provide for you, like he said, like that man is naturally going to provide for you. Yes. He's going to do whatever in that household mm-hmm. to show you that he loves you, right? Mm-hmm. May not be affectionate as much, but he's going to show you in right. other ways, right? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like it's definitely... I feel like... In a relationship, a woman should love more. Okay. Is it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> you are so excited. Like, relax. <laughs> yeah, who should Jump love out the other person seat. more, a man or a woman, in, uh, in order for the relationship to work and why? I always bring it back to my relationship because I like it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just going to uh, say, because I like when my man messages me multiple times. Like, um, right. But Maybe I'll definitely back. say... Especially when it's your man. <laughs> I'll definitely say the woman, and I'm saying this because <clears throat> if you love a man the right way, it automatically gets you what you want if it's the right man and he wants to be with you you over loving him my relationship for example i'm Mm -hmm. an energizer bunny i'm just all over the place all the time (laughs) and my man is he's like super relaxed we're polar opposites he's not loud he's not fussy but we balance each other out because i bring that out of him so like i'm childish i'm playing all day all that but that's how i show affection that's how i show love i get him out of his head men go go through so much crap out in the world every day i'm a safe space i'm a happy space and i'm that for him and that makes him a better person he goes out he has a great day if he doesn't have a great day he comes home and he has me bouncing around (laughs) doing 500 million dumb shit all day long and he eventually snaps out of whatever was wrong for the day so if you love a man the right way you'll get the right um care love affection out of that man he's going to automatically naturally do it for you because you're loving him the way he needs to be loved. But is that loving him more or is that just loving him the right way? I feel like that's a difference. I, like I think that sometimes right you do have to love him more because there are days that man is going to go out there and go through some things and you're not going to be able to snap him back uh-huh. but you still have to but love like, him. Like, vice versa. Right? Some days yeah, I'm going to so, go out in the world and so I'm going to need a little bit more love that day. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I like, think the I question was like, like, I don't think he was saying with, like, the question was like, it's are not, you it's willing, not about us. Yeah, are you willing to, are you love, willing him to love him more? more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I see what you're saying. You Go ahead. I'm willing to love him properly. <laughs> <laughs> Accordingly. <laughs> Accordingly. Accordingly. Exactly. Yeah. She she a little bit. Because if he needs that extra, I'm going to give it to him. Right. Right. If he yeah. needs me to chill out, all right, cool, babe. Take your break. Right. You know, I'm going to give you your space. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But, yeah. You know, I don't feel like that equals to me loving him more. I feel like that's just loving him properly yeah. and loving, right. loving each other right. properly. Right. That's the only right. way it's going to work. Because if you're loving more in reality, like somebody is going to be lacking like mm-hmm. yeah. right. somebody's not going to be getting what they need out of the situation like yeah. and then yep. like off of what both of y'all said I think it's like I said it's hard to kind of see these things or say these things because when you're both in that relationship I think both would argue that they're loving 110% and I'm loving you more and you loving me more like it, I think different it, the process mm-hmm. like the love love ebbs and flows not love ebbs and flows but I feel like relationships ebb and flow and like it's a lot more going into it like she was saying like Mm -hmm. she helps feed his day like Mm -hmm. not feed his day but like prop up his mood and i'm pretty sure like nobody i mean i'm just as jolly right but nobody ever has a hundred and one perfect days in a row you might have on day 100 yeah a bad day (laughs) and Uh your man might need to big you up and show you how much he loves you and bring you flowers or do whatever it is that he has to feels like he has to do in that moment to make you get back yeah, to your hundred percent. So who do you think should love the person more in a relationship? I truly believe the woman. The reason why is because the man is the leader. I was asking her this question before. The follower, who are you leading? Everyone that's a leader, um, they already are on their job. They're doing their duty. So that dude is protecting, providing, and providing that woman security. So obviously he's already loving. 
right, to his max level of loving. The nigga would jump in front of a bullet to save you. You feel what I'm saying? Woman, she ain't jumping in front of no bullet. So uh, think about that, right? So since the man is leading, then his follower, uh, that follower needs to love more in order to follow, right? So actually, this was my question. I just remembered it better now. So here's a question, right? Um, who do you think garners, uh, out of the sexes, man or woman, who do you think garners more attention from the opposite sex, the man or the woman? Who do you think, from just the world, who do you think garners more attention? Raise your hand if you think men garner more attention than women. Raise your hand if you think women garner more attention than men. Okay? All hands up? Okay, all hands up. So the person that's garnering more attention, they need to love more because... If you have all of these influences coming at you, you need to be very strong and committed in your relationship. And we all know that females DMs be flooded. She trying to cap over here like, oh, my DMs don't be like that. So just naturally, females get more attention from the opposite sex. So since they since they always have eyes on them and they always have a nigga plotting to steal, you know what I mean, them from their nigga. They need to love their men more in order for the relationship to work. I got more followers than everyone here. I could put up a story, right? And yeah, I get a couple of Jones, maybe slide and maybe put a heart on my story, something. But it ain't a lot. Maybe like maybe one heart, two hearts. Maybe that's it. If I put up a gym story. You ladies put up a story. You got niggas like, let me lick the bottom of your draw. <laughs> like, you got niggas doing the most. So since you are garnering more attention, and guess what? I am above average, and you, you ladies have less followers than me, but you still garner more attention from the opposite sex. That's just facts. I'm not whining about it. It is what it is. But the point I'm making that is, right, the person that garners more attention, they need to be totally strong in a relationship and loving that man more. It just works that way. Not only that, right? I was using the example with her. Females don't like thirsty niggas, right? Okay. Think of, think about why the, the word thirst came out. It's because y'all like, oh, this nigga's doing too much. He's thirsty. Men, we appreciate thirst. Thirst over me. <laughs> them niggas that thirst say, oh, I don't me. like those thirsty <laughs> niggas, <laughs> them niggas capping. They just saying that because they want to look cool. All dudes, when they like a female, they want that female to thirst over them. But it's different on the opposite end. The reason why females don't like thirsty niggas is because you have so many options, one, so that if your niggas is doing too much, it's like, well, what are you doing? How are you leading me if you always up my butt? You should be out there working and to provide a better future for us. But if he's too worried about you and pedestalizing you, then how can he really lead? Then you're more like the leader. Makes sense? So the female just has to love to do more so the man can lead. Or we can love each other think. equally. Thank don't you. let him. Right. Don't let him. Yeah. Right. That doesn't. That, that, that is like, a. That but, is a. But you make it seem like I got to be on your dick. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm not saying so for the relationship. Well, think about that. The whole being on a. That's fine. Like. You, all right, put it like this. I'll add, for a man, I have, that's I was, fine. I, I'm sorry. Before yeah, you, before you... Two seconds on you, right? <laughs> uh, like, being on a man's dick, is that's not uh, a turnoff to us. Like, Correct. we want our girl, the one that we like and love, we want her to be on my dick. Like, Same thing with I guys. want you to be on... Same thing with us, reciprocated, vice right. versa. Correct. We want that, too. Why do y'all think we man. don't want and that? And then, like, from if you... Our man, man, no no yeah. question. Not, not from my man, though. Not from my right. Right. Another question. Another question. I want my man sweating me. Right. Like, if okay. you please, cool. thank oh, you. you want to say something, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so, like, if you're following somebody, right... Or like, let's say, okay. let's say, if you let's take the relationships okay, out of it, Marisha. right? If you <laughs> so are following <laughs> like a celebrity, right? Yes. And they don't, and you buy the celebrities' albums, you buy their tickets, you do everything to support the celebrity, uh -huh. and they don't say nothing about the fans. They don't say nothing about the fans. Ain't that gonna make you feel hurt inside? Like, damn, I love this person Is it gonna make so the much. Fan feel hurt? Yeah. Oh, you're, you accumulate in uh, celebrities with relationships. Well, that isn't a good correlation because in a relationship, the man is providing, protecting. The leader is already leading, so you're already getting your love. So she needs to love that man more, especially since women garner so much attention. 80% of divorces 
Here we are go. initiated by it. women. <laughs> it, think about it. Eighty percent of divorces, women are just leaving. So that means that she's not loving her man more. These are all assumptions. Well, no, it's not an assumption. So here's the here's the statistic. Fact. I got you, Go mom, right? So uh, women initiate these divorces because uh, the two factors. One of it is because of money. Usually, that when a woman, because since you know women are liberated now, you guys are in the workforce. So women start to earn more than a man. So when a woman starts to earn more than a man, that's a that's a uh, predicator right there that the woman that divorces around the corner when she starts to out earn her man, outperform that's her man. That's true, though. Right? See, that's where the I'm other coming factor, from. Like... The other factor is like uh, emotional distress, which that means that it's unsat unsatisfied. It could be a multitude of things. Maybe he cheated. Maybe something like that. But it's emotional distress. So she's unsatisfied in some way. Mm. That's why she divorced. Her nigga. A lot of lawyers have on on that first page. It says it's very hard to factor exactly what percentage of divorces end because of different reasons. What's the point that you're making? Get to the point, the root. My point is that you're trying to make it seem like okay, women have all these options, and eighty percent of divorces end. Um, because of a, a female initiated it, right? But how many divorces it. are we talking about? And um, because I What's know there's the another there's another <laughs> fact that you also spew when you spew this eighty percent. You say that fifty percent of marriages end in divorce, right? So we got that fifty percent. So let's say we have a hundred divorces, right? Or a hundred marriages, right? And fifty of them end in a divorce, right? Yes. And then you have 80% of that 50, which yes. is now, what, 40%? I mean, 40 marriages? So... Oh. <laughs> she, <laughs> she finna calculate <laughs> over there. She pulled the calculator <laughs> out on you. Yeah, times by 0.5, right? But forget the math. What's the point of it? Right? It's 40. Okay, 40 what's the point? 40 divorces ended because a woman initiated it, right? Okay, Out so of the 100 divorces, only 50 of them. So yeah. yes, women do initiate it more than men. But when you look at the statistic as a whole, that number tends to shrink once you start to add the population okay, so in. Correlation I did 100 doesn't equal causation. Because these causations, you, you're trying to say there's only two causations. You're putting words in my mouth. Those are the main two reasons. Okay. There's a, a multitude okay, of other reasons. putting so, words in your mouth. <laughs> no, I did. I said there's only two main reasons. Two main reasons. Main reasons. Yeah, so... But, but you're leaving out everything else, and that is what I originally have okay, a problem with. Okay, so that's with. what... All You're right, so out I'm leaving out else. the exception, then the the rule. Okay, cool. So quick thing for you, right? So every all the ladies can understand. I speak in generalities because the world works in generalities, right? So for example, parking lots, right? There are every parking lot we go to Lehigh Valley Mall. We all been there, right? Lehigh Valley Mall. You go to Lehigh Valley Mall. You got what? Uh, Two hundred regular parking spots and like twenty handicap parking spots. The reason why is because the general population aren't handicapped. But the exception doesn't make the rule. If the exception made the rule, guess how many handicapped parking spots it'd be? It'd be 200. Make sense? So I brought out those two factors because those are the main two reasons. The other things doesn't matter. So this is what I'm talking about, right? Like when you really start to critically think about things, you wouldn't even have said what you said because it didn't matter. <laughs> so, okay, when I do reporting, sure. I'm allowed to, I'm required to paint the whole picture. I can't just say these are the two main causes without listing the other causes that were also Journalism. put in the study. Correct. Give them a full picture so as what's, to what's going what's on out there. What's the full picture then if you know? I didn't look at the CDC, the CDC um, website in okay. terms of divorces. When I just gave an example, and my example... D refuted your entire argument right now. Okay. Why would on a podcast or just in generally what we speak about all these exceptions when the exception doesn't make a rule? Why would I be speaking about handicapped people if you're not handicapped? So it's, if you want to make a no if you want to have a balanced people. conversation, no, that's not balanced and you conversation. Wanna show what is oh, truly oh, going okay, on so in the world. It, right? So this is a balanced <laughs> thing, right? And you said we need to keep it balanced. We need to keep it balanced, right? So we have I said to we talk need to about paint the whole picture. No, no. We have to paint the whole picture, right? Yeah. We need to keep it balanced, right? Well, guess what? If handicaps, right? We're going to do handy. 
Handicap is over here, and then we're gonna do the regular parking spots over here. The beam would be like this, so it's in balance already. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's irrelevant to speak about things when a scale is already unbalanced. So you have to speak about a general thing so people can know the truth, a true understanding about what's really going on. You're speaking about the exception, so then people are gonna start to think that, oh, everyone's handicapped, so let me just park. No, it doesn't make any sense to think that way. Critically thinking, let's be logical here. You can't think like the way you're thinking. It I don't just think doesn't you're work. you're being logical, no, but you, I will no, respect your opinion. It's, I, no, I respect your opinion, too. It's not about your opinion. It's about that your thinking is what I'm saying. You're thinking about it, and for you to keep bringing it up, it's illogical because it doesn't make sense to the entire picture. You get what I'm saying? I'm speaking objective. Guess what? You're speaking subjective. Are you upset that women are divorcing men? And does it make women look bad or something? What's the point? That, uh, you know, 50% of divorces end no, and 80% like, of... Do you think? I'm okay, okay, okay. man so, or woman. So, no, no, but not, what's, I'm not, but what's I'm, the point? I'm, my point is that there are a lot of studies. There's a lot of numbers yeah. that are being thrown out there. And when you have to look at these things, I think that you shouldn't just take one number or one fact as the end-all, be-all. I didn't. think that you have to look at totally the whole Totally didn't. I, and I never said it either, but you keep going back to that. Like, I, if you actually listened to understand instead of just listening to hear, then you would have known that from the beginning when I said that 80% of divorces are initiated by a woman. And then you went on, everyone says some stuff, then I said there are two main reasons right? Main reasons. I didn't say that there's only two reasons why these divorces happen. I didn't say that. So you talking about some other stuff when I didn't even say that myself, it's just disingenuous. But let's move on to the next question. Uh, and we're going to have some fun with this one to get everybody involved. This is new. It's trendy. We're going to start with uh, you. Yeah. And we're going to go to you You next, Mo. You get to speak right out. <laughs> no, I think you should skip me. Just because I feel like we had a long no, conversation. No, no, no. <laughs> and everybody no, no, no. else came we're to talk. We're not going to skip you. We're going to go around. So starting with you. I'm sorry, what you said your name was? Nosh. Nosh. Okay, Nosh. So name tags. Huh? You need name tags. Yo, Mike, write that down. Name tags. Name tags. <laughs> Mike needs his own <laughs> camera. That's facts. Uh, question. So there's this like whole maybe you ladies seen it on social media. This whole soft girl thing, like girl. you know, let me be soft girl, no, my feminine. feminine. So let me be my feminine. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know about that. Uh, so um, I just want to know y'all perspectives on it, and do you think that's a good way that you know women should be you know going in the soft girl era? Starting with you. Mm, so I actually haven't like been keeping up with that. Okay, can someone put her up on yeah, it? Yeah, can someone? Because I know please, about the, I don't really. I've like, seen it a little bit. Soft girl is just one. being like in your feminine energy. Like, yeah. like you're, you're in tune like, with yourself, yeah, your peace, super, mind, like yeah, putting yourself first sure. above everything. Mm -hmm. Because women, we have been so aggressive. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, now yeah. we are becoming more aggressive just because the world is changing and mm -hmm. you have to right. kind of be a little right. hard. Mm -hmm. So I think now, like, women are like, you know what? I'm ready to go back to that feminine. So, listen, I'm 30, so I remember when we were much softer mm -hmm. <laughs> than we are now. I remember that yeah. time. So, you know, trying to get back to that for real, for real, because mm. it's hard so, to do that. It's not that we don't want to. It's just yeah. it's hard in today's time. Just like you guys got it bad, we got it bad, too. So that's the soft. Thank you for summing that up. And you, mm -hmm. too. Um, so that's like the soft girl era, like the movement. You know, be soft, be more feminine. So two questions, right? Um do you think that's a good thing, like the whole promoting this soft girl error? And then the next question is, um, actually, let's just do that one. Yeah. Do you think it's a I good mean, thing? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's good to be, to be like in your feminine energy. It's okay. important. I mean, you can't be, as a woman, we're supposed to be like, you know, we're supposed to be more feminine. You don't want to be aggressive and crazy and all this. And I don't want anybody to make me that way either. I want to be able to be in my, you know, in mm -hmm. my comfortable, like, I don't have to mm -hmm. act out and, and, no, I want to just be in my peace and, you know, feel as if everything is just zen. That's just how I am zen. at equilibrium mm -hmm. anyway. I'm very just calm, and I like to be that. If anybody brings me out of that, then you're just not for me. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you need to stay away. I told myself this year, personally, I was going to eliminate anything that caused me to get out of character. Mm -hmm. 
because that's just not the type of person that I want to be anymore. And in the past, I've seen people bring that side out of me, and that's just not who I was. So I would say this year I'm probably in my soft girl era because, anyway, if someone's for you, they're going to make you soft. Mm -hmm. So that's just how I feel about and that. And actually, here's the second question. Um, do you What do you think made them come to the conclusion, like, you know, let's promote the soft girl era? So what, what do you think encouraged that? What so? What do I think? Who encouraged what? <laughs> so encouraged, okay, like, so the soft girl era mm -hmm. is this movement, right? So obviously that means that women aren't being soft; they're more, you know, being more masculine, right, right? Right. So what do you think? And and it's it's culture based, right? It's really in the black community. You feel what I'm saying? It's in it's in it's in it's in all. It's kind of going. It's trendy right now, mm -hmm. but it's it's primarily in the black community. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, what do you think encouraged uh, this movement of soft girl error? I mean, maybe I. I feel like we have been honestly. I know I can't speak for anybody else, but I can speak for myself that I know that I've been. You know. I was a little angry mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lie and say that, you know, I haven't been through some things, but I've realized overall. Well, uh, not speaking about yourself, just generally speaking. Generally, yeah, just I mean, generally, yeah. maybe just there's just been a lot of uh, this generation. I mean, it's hard. Like it's we are just naturally just aggressive people. Like I just feel like this. we're just that's just how we are. This is our generation now. I mean, it's different from before. So I feel like before, you know, it was easy. Like you said, the man lead, leaded before. Uh -huh. And now I feel like, you know, as women, most women now are of higher status and some women now are leading. Mm -hmm. So that could cause like a rift, a problem. And maybe that's why, you know, now people are like, oh, like, let's, you know, let's be more softer. Let's allow, you know. Like okay, that could so be you're saying it. like I you mean, know just uh, where culture, where, where society yeah, was going, society or like society in general, you know, the way it's going. Like, yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you for your perspective. And what about you, Mo? Uh, so two prong question. Mm -hmm. First question is, uh, so soft girl error. Do you think it's a good thing or no? I think you should be who you feel like you are. Okay. And lean into that. Um, I feel like um, if you find that being softer works for you, mm -hmm. then you should continue to lead into that. And if you feel like that is naturally you, then you should definitely be that way. Um, like, I personally have a naturally bubbly personality. I feel like I am very soft, sometimes too soft. <laughs> I okay. feel like I could have a bigger backbone. Um, but that's what you know, comes natural to me. So I want to lean more into that and make it work to my benefit. And there might be some times where I feel like I might need to be a little harder. But in general, I think it is good because there are a lot of stereotypes. If we're talking about the black community, right? Well, well we're or are we talking about, about like every woman? Generally, all do you think is a good thing? The reason why I said it was primarily prom like from what I've seen and what from people would send to me because people, fans had these questions and stuff like that. Hey, mm -hmm. talk about, you know, the soft girl, stuff like that, or what, you know, the ladies think about that. And it was, you know, what I've seen and witnessed, it kind of came from, like, more the black culture started it. Like, let's be more soft now, girls, mm -hmm. this and this. So um, so you, you gave, you answered it. You said that you do think it's a good thing. Now, the other question is, what do you think encouraged them to start this movement? Yeah, so if, if if we're saying that we think this movement came from the black community, I think it's to break down stereotypes. I do. Okay, there we go. Because a lot of times, and I feel like I'm a victim of it, um, not like falling into the stereotype, but I find myself consciously trying not to fall into the stereotypes of being an aggressive, and I feel like I was probably seeming morally aggressive trying to get my point across. But, no, you weren't aggressive, um, But I feel like... I guess, for instance, like if I'm going into a store and I get a service and I feel like the service has wronged me, I'm not going to go and be an aggressive person because I feel like that is just feeding into the stereotype. So I feel like 
in order to break down stereotypes that women, black women are aggressive, yeah. black women are too masculine, we have this soccer error that we're pushing to show that, like, you know, that's not really who all of us are. And like I said from the beginning, if you feel like, like, just lean into whatever works for you. Like, if there's nothing wrong with having a harder exterior sometimes. I wish that not? I could be harder on certain things. But if that, that doesn't, that's not me naturally, so I, I, I just lean into who I am. And I think that's you what... You think it's really any woman naturally to be hard? What, no. Repeat repeat the question. Do you think any woman, because you, you said it's not naturally for you, but do you think any woman, it's natural for them to be hard? I don't know. No. I feel like some people have... I don't know if it's them being naturally hard or not. I, I can't I can't answer that. I think us as women become hard as a defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. Survival okay. mode. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Angelina. Baby girl. Uh so think soft error girl, the soft girl error is a good thing? Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, you know, what do you think, you know, why do you think this all came about? Um I just feel like just generalizing it, I feel like, you know, there was a lot of situationships going on, maybe. And I feel like women tend to be a little bit more aggressive nowadays just to, like, like I said, like, it's survival mode. So a lot was going on, a lot of controversy. And I feel like women just had to kind of, like, nah, we're not going to get bitched around. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. right. you know, so I feel like we kind of had to take a step up almost but now we're kind of just taking a step back because like you're not about to play with us okay cool uh what about you tanika uh do you think soft girl is a good thing and if so or if not uh what do you think brung that up bring that about yeah i've always think it's a good thing i've always lived my life that way um i spoil me i take me places i buy me things oh, that's right. and i dated myself for a while and now i found a man that spoils me and takes me places and buys me things. <laughs> um, so no it's not even like how long so nah, i'm playing Understand. as far as like relationship goes i was in yeah. like a four-year long relationship yeah no, <laughs> i was single for three whole months girl <laughs> mm -hmm. and then this one came along so don't take don't take much. Much. At all. You just gotta know what you look. I wasn't even looking for nothing to be honest. But that's when stuff comes to you when you're really not looking for yeah. something. He just he just, he just fell in my lap and up. I kept him. <laughs> <laughs> popping up. Um, but as far as why women were so being so aggressive, I feel like it comes from like I feel like social media and celebrities and um people of I don't want to say higher stature because there are people, but people who are in the limelight a lot has yeah. a lot of influence mm -hmm. on how, I don't want to call us regular, but us regular folk <laughs> that's just going yeah. about the day. Right. We look to them a lot to see how, like, I don't want to say how we're supposed to act, but what's trending, what's trending yes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like on um, social media, there's a lot of toxicity and aggressiveness. Mm -hmm. and that's to um, normal nowadays. Mm -hmm. And it's portrayed to be normal, mm -hmm. and it just is it and it's after a while it weighs down on you and like what the hell am i acting like this for this is not who i am right. um it's not how who we are and it's not who we're supposed to be as women so dialing back into that and just finding yourself and loving who you're supposed to be naturally and like really being you mm -hmm. women are like soft feminine and i know lo some people are gonna come at me in the comments for this because y'all be coming at me in the comments and i don't appreciate mm -hmm. it all right <laughs> i will stand up for myself all right i will stand up for myself <laughs> but we're not supposed to be this hard no man wants to date a nigga if he wanted to date a nigga he would have dated a nigga okay be feminine be your girly self be who you are naturally not who you're pretending to be mm -hmm. and that's when you get everything that you're supposed to get absolutely that's how i feel okay cool thank you for that tanika mm -hmm. and what about yourself so first question is soft girl era do you think that's a good thing women should be soft and more feminine I absolutely do, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sure. um, what do you think brought that about? Like, why do we need to promote that now? Because obviously, if they're promoting the soft girl error, that means that woman has been lacking in their softness. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the reason why is because we actually have been lacking in men, and which rolls back to, like, that show leadership, mm -hmm. men that 
hold it down. There's very little to no men that are out there like back in the days where a man was supporting your wife and they can be soft, they can be home, they can make you dinner every day, mm -hmm. they can make you lunch every day. But we don't have those type of men anymore. Right. Unfortunately, we have those men that want to go 50-50 on you on the rent. But you want me to come home and make you a meal every day after my forty? <laughs> 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 come home and make a meal right. after my forty-hour shift when I work the same shift as you? Right. Yeah, that we lack in men that are leaders nowadays. So unfortunately, we are the leaders now. And like you said, Nodge, yeah. we're we're the ones making the money now. You know, so. Table Unfortunately, time. we don't have those men to lean on no more, and we don't have those men to be soft around no more. So it's definitely something that's harder to find nowadays. So yeah. I think that's why the movement came along. Yeah, for sure. Good point. Very smart. Oh, what about you? you? Um, what was the question again? Uh, first question is, uh, so a soft girl era, do you think it's a good thing? I do think it's a good thing. Okay. And what do you think brought that about? Um. So first of all, like, I go 50-50 with what everybody's saying. Like, I'm all for fem femininity, you know? Mm -hmm. But I grew up with tough love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you grew up with a nigga like, hey. <laughs> 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 no, not even that. Like, my dad and, like, my cousins, brothers, everything. I, I grew up around a lot of men. Yeah. So, like, I got tough love and, you know, the, the beatings and all that. So it's like, um... I only bring out my femininity with my friends, female friends, or my man, because that's the only man that okay. need to see that. True. So everybody else, like, I give masculine energy to because I'm not friendly at all. Like, when a guy be like, hey, you know, girls tend to hug, I don't do that. Like, chill, bro. Yeah, No, like, <laughs> handshake respectfully. Yeah, yeah. No, respectfully. for real. Because... I got a man and he's retarded, so. Mood. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's. But that's, I do go that's, for that's femininity, yeah, you know, that's, like. That's what's up. But for my man and for my friends, you know, when you're out with your girls and stuff like that, I live for that, but everybody else got the boot. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And what about you? What do you think um, about soft girl? Or good thing, bad thing? And who do you I think that think about it's that about? a very good thing, but I think that it's more of a good thing just for you personally because, mm -hmm. honestly, it's draining to always <laughs> show up every day in the world like that, you know? And a lot of times it does come from what you've been through. Same like you. Like, I grew up with a lot of men. My brothers, my cousins, my mom was very aggressive, real OG. Uh -huh. So it was like, that's nat naturally, before I even went through anything, like, that was just me. Right. So, um, well, just from my upbringing, rather, I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I do believe that women, we are naturally soft. I do believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe that what you go through, how you're raised, it shapes and molds who you're going to be. Sure. I think coming from, like I said, <laughs> like, I'm at that age where I was there back in the days when, like, before social media was crazy and stuff like that. And women, we were in our soft era. And we were holding it down. And we were, mm -hmm. you know, staying true to our men. Like, if you were in the hood, you were holding your man down, <laughs> doing bids with him. He cheating, running the streets. You out there at home, making sure he's good. And if you were maybe two parents in the home, you was cooking and cleaning, bringing the kids to soccer, this, that, whatever it may be in your situation. But yeah. I think that, like, when social media started happening, it was like, oh, wait, hold up. We ain't got to take this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, and I think that really started this whole movement. And I'm here for it, but I do believe that we do got to kind of, like... Reel it back. A little bit. Just Reel a little back. bit. Like, okay. stay true to you. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Like, whatever makes you happy, do that. But just make sure it's coming from a place from within and not mm -hmm. you trying to follow people or you right. think that's what's in. Mm -hmm. That's what's it. Because when you truly find a good right. man, like, you want to give that to him. And you want him to give that to you. Because I want a strong man. I don't, right. don't want to leave my man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like, but don't get me wrong, I'm a natural boss, so yeah. I'm a boss. So you got to be able to deal with that. But you could be a boss too, and I know when to chill. I know when to, you know, okay. I got to talk to my man. Mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Being but being soft comes naturally though, yeah. too. Though, mm -hmm. like you said. Yeah. Question for you, right? Because mm -hmm. you said you said a lot of things that I agree with. Besides, even the last points, I I understand why. Um, but like like you said, you a boss too, mm -hmm. right? And you need to be. You know, what I mean, you need to be doing your thing too. Mm -hmm. So, you said you're single, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, just a perspective, mm -hmm. right? And just to give you a little game, you could take it, or you could leave. You could be like, ah, cool, yeah. <laughs> or you could, you know what I mean? You take it, right. you could hold it. <laughs> so, 
just some game I give to the ladies, right? Because the whole software everything, and I'll speak about that after you go. Um, but if you are boss babe, you're doing your own thing, you are asserting yourself, right? Then that means that you actually inadvertently disqualify guys before they even approach you, mm -hmm. right? Because you got to think about it. When women, um, women uh, advertise themselves. So you don't, like, if you're out at a club or, you know, you're out somewhere, generally speaking, women don't approach guys, mm -hmm. right? Usually the girl advertises herself out <laughs> and the man approaches her, okay. right? So women advertise themselves and men, we pitch ourselves. We go up to the woman and be like, hey, girl, you real fine, girl. I'm trying to get to know you. What's up, ma? Oh, I hope you're right? doing better than What's that. What's up, ma? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a holler out the window like, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Lord. Not that word again. We got to take that out of his vocabulary. Well, look, you said <laughs> so what I'm saying is, right, women that tend to be a little bit more masculine, go-getter, um, boss babe, right? Uh, they actually inadvertently disqualify themselves from those from certain guys going up to you and pitching themselves at you, right? Because the soft feminine women, the masculine, it's like opposites attract, right? Mm -hmm. Since opposites attract, guess what? The type of men, not not I'm speaking general, not even you. The type of men that most uh, more boss babes, assertive women, more masculine women attract is beta males because they're lacking. So they want, they're attracted to those women that's out there certain themselves, that's out there making something of themselves. You get what I'm saying? So you actually attract the weak men. You attract those men that you don't respect, right? But here's some game. Mm -hmm. If you actually turn that notch off and you get into your soft girl error and you become like just naturally more soft or feminine because you have to advertise yourself like that, right? But first it comes with a mind, state of mind. Feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So the state of mind, and then your body reacts to your state of mind. So then you won't inadvertently disqualify those guys because masculine guys want a feminine woman. And guess what? Y'all all want masculine males. So how what you do is you want to be your soft girl all the time, 100% of the time, especially as a single woman, so you could really get those guys that you want. Make sense? So are you saying yeah. that she should not yeah, advertise that she's a boss? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm just no, asking. I, 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 what, I, should she not be able? I'm literally I just didn't asking. Say that. I'm but what asking. I am what are you saying, trying to say? Yeah. What I turn am down my is, aggression. Turn it down. What I'm saying is, what, what, what you think? Like, like sometimes, like it's not always gonna go 50-50. Sometimes it's gonna go 70-30. Sometimes it's gonna go 100-0. You feel me? Like sometimes yeah. the guy is gonna lie. What makes you think a guy is always gonna be up, up, up? You understand what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. like sometimes a guy. For example, like, let's say if he a football player, he break his leg. How are he going to get income? How? True. So yeah. as a woman, now as his woman, now you got to hold it down for a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the same thing, like... It's different, though. Yeah, I think that may be my aggression. I think that with women... Let women, me respond back there real quick. So just to give you some logic, right? I agree with what you said. But you started, like, you started when the relationship was already there. I was talking in a courting process. Okay. So the courting process is where women lose opportunities of those guys that they really want is because they're showing and displaying themselves and advertising themselves more masculine. Opposites attract. No masculine male is walking up to another female that's, you know, has this persona about her like she's a boss. It's just not happening. I'm a masculine male. I want something soft, feminine. I was love living la la land. But just because so you're, you I mean, okay. you're a boss doesn't mean you're not. Just so so how do you, yeah, exactly. How do you how do you suggest oh, how do you suggest somebody who is a assistant store manager, uh -huh. who's a nail tech, who That's is you? an entrepreneur? Sorry. This is oh, you're okay. giving her That's this you. advice. How do you yeah. suggest she market herself to not? disclude those people because this is who she, what she does this mm -hmm. is who she is like yeah. she has yeah. to let this person to know standard. this somehow mm -hmm. so how would a feminine Wait, woman you said that she has to let what Say she again? eventually this is going to come out somehow sure. so how would yeah. a feminine woman in your opinion market that or not mark like how mm -hmm. when should that become a part of the conversation like i'm just because this is my life so <laughs> You want me to stop having all my business? You want me to stop? Like, what do you want? That's literally what I'm trying to ask. What do you want? I don't want anything. I'm giving game to her, right? So this is what I'm saying. 
men, we don't care about what you do if you're a boss or if you're not a boss. Those are just the facts. So we don't care about your income. We don't care about what you do for a living. The niggas that speak like that, they're just lying to communicate with you. you get what I'm saying? But we don't actually care about a, how much a woman earns. Guess what? The masculine males don't care. Those soft beta boys, soy boys, want to go 50-50, them niggas care because they're inadequate. So niggas that are adequate, we don't care about your career. So what I'm saying is advertising, right? Because it comes with the state of mind first. So if you have the state of mind, you could be doing a whole lot of stuff, right? And you out there getting it. Because you. she explained that you have tons of things that you do. And you explained that at the beginning too. But yeah, you are... a you got employees? A boss. <laughs> you a boss. <laughs> He's a boss. Yeah, you a boss. So the game I'm giving is basically saying that even though you are doing something, you are acting like something, right? And Because you have a business. You are doing things. You are employing other people. You're literally a boss. All I'm saying, don't take that same attitude, how you handle your employees and how you're out there mm -hmm. asserting yourself so you can make your money. Don't take that same attitude into a relationship when you're advertising yourself because then you will disqualify yourself from a pool of masculine guys that you truly want. So you could still do it, but it's a state of mind. Know that work is work. You out there doing stuff. But when you actually out there want to advertise yourself, advertise yourself in a feminine, soft way. And then you'll mm -hmm. get those masculine males. So you can so do I, I can, I can agree. But it is hard. I can agree with that. But just to be clear, I am not looking. I'm in that era of me working on me oh, yeah, so yeah, it ain't yeah, like yeah. you know what i mean and i and i agree with that that's something that i know like i don't too. yeah and just because you you brought the whole no, you, get, you, you give me advice so i'm just saying <laughs> like I, I hear you okay. i hear you trust me but does that make sense no i mean that's how i live my life like i'm not gonna you know, i listen in the past yes because it was so natural and sometimes i would date guys that yeah. were you know what i mean so it's easy to take over because mm -hmm. i had to mm -hmm. but um no like that's not something that that's not how i want to show up to my man every okay day. good yeah. so then if you're already yeah. doing it you'll hunt it then but yeah i just wanted yeah. to share that because mm -hmm. it could be another lady that's out there yeah. got businesses like yourself too but she don't know how to let that down when she's mm -hmm. out there advertising herself right Cause trust me like men we don't care about the career we don't care about anything you got going on. So, we question. literally want to see a princess. What do you care but, about? What do you want a woman to advertise herself save, and say to you? Save that. Let me get to her real quick. Literally okay. save that. Well, I was waiting okay. for that answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking that same thing. That would have yeah, been my next curious. question. That's what good. exactly we're gonna does actually it look go, like? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to answer all of that, but let's get to her. So, uh, question. So, go ahead. What's my name? <laughs> CC. CC. I watch the podcast. They know I'm terrible with names, uh -huh. and these two ladies know too. But CC. Okay. He so, called uh, me Tamika the first podcast every no, time he spoke to me. Name tag. I'm good with correlating things and this logic <laughs> thing, but when it comes to names, you got me no. beat. But uh. <laughs> Shorty, uh, so CC, CC, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. shorty, like you know, shorty. But uh, I CC, you. do you think uh, the soft girl era is a good thing? Um, yes and no. Like, yes and no. The mic a little closer to closer to me. Yeah, right here. Yeah. That's yep. good. Perfect. Oh, I feel like that's in my grill. But um, so yes and no. I feel like soft girl era is a good and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because it is a trend right now. So are people just hopping on this trend just to say, oh, I'm in my soft girl era? But you're not fully healed. You're not fully ready to be in that era of your life yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I agree that it's a good thing. Because like we said, us as females, we have gotten aggressive over the years. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they said, like, like, we have become the new niggas. But like I yeah. said, that has, our aggression has become our defense mechanism mm -hmm. from the bullshit. So us being in tune with our feminine side, our soft side, is us trying to get back to our normal, natural loving and nurturing selves because we have strayed afar from it let's be for real true but nope. that's just how i feel on it no, but no. can we bring the real men back too though back. so that we could be comfortable exactly. being in our please. soft the era that's please that part. i mean if you talk about y'all supposed to leave that so mm -hmm. where they are for comfortability <laughs> that part. i'm just saying please because the man that you found a good man i know girl i'm trying to keep him i'm trying to clink clink coolie says something what what happened Dudes be what? 
slacking. Yeah, Let me, yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. he said they be slacking. Oh, okay. Okay. But that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Um, that's a fact. Um, they should have to jump on that. No, no, no. I just wanted to be saying. I wanted to hear it. Actually, on this podcast, and I understand... Um, but not your whole state of mind, but I'm starting to understand where your mental is coming from <laughs> and, you know, why you were a contrarian then. That's why I said, well, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, women are bad because they're divorcing these men. I get on men, too. They're divorcing these men because they're weak niggas, usually. Not correct. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the guys that are being divorced, obviously, he couldn't lead. It's always the man's fault. That's my perspective. When a relationship that, ends... It's the man's fault because he is the leader if we're in war, right? And I'm the sergeant. And it's chaos going on. But I'm lacking in my masculinity and in my leadership. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, bombs are going off over there. Uh, Kyle, Kendall, yo, what, what do we do? And I'm looking for my troops to lead me. Well, obviously, they're going to look for another unit to go to. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that the reason why these divorces happen, like the root of it, is men. It isn't actually. <laughs> I mean, one thing women. that you said that I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't truly believe is that men are always the reason. They're not. Sometimes there are women that may not be willing to give what. Well, when give, it comes to give marriage, certain things or men break, break down certain hold things the key that they to do. relationships and commitment and marriage. So if you hold the key to it, right, then that means. You, you but what I'm up. trying to say is kind of what you were saying. Like when a woman is too hard, mm -hmm. right? And if you're in a marriage and the man is trying to bring that feminine energy out of you and you just don't, then how is it that his fault? He chose the wrong woman to give his marriage key to. His fault. Just like if you oh, have no, sex. Cooley. Just like. <laughs> you know, I kind of agree with that. I, I agree, agree with that. I kind of agree with that because you're bring it that around, right? Let me bring it around. The reason why I says the men fault. Whoever holds the, it's accountability, right? So whoever holds the key to something has to, if you have authority, which is the key to sex or marriage, then you have to have responsibility. So authority without responsibility is slavery. You have, they, mm. two of them has to coexist, right? So whoever has the authority has to garner all the responsibility or bulk of it. So men are responsible for giving commitment in a relationship. So he chose that woman to marry, but he literally uh, chose the wrong woman or he didn't have it in himself to carry that relationship on. So it's his fault. For example, well, let's flip it around. Women hold the key to sex. If you have sex with a nigga that sold you a dream that you believed and he was single and he was, you know, had a good lifestyle, but then you find out he got 10 baby mamas, he living at his brother's house and he ain't really doing too much, but you still chose to give him some box <laughs> and you thought it could be something of a long term, then it's your fault because you hold mm -hmm. the key to that. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So Mercy. Both parties, <laughs> makes sense now, right? Yeah. I agree with both, that. Both parties, uh, it, authority, responsibility, it, it has to... Go. Yeah. I think it mm -hmm. works. You think it works the other way? No, 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 no. Oh. I think that it just flows. Like, you know, it's not a, there's never a perfect situation. I see where you're going with it. It's that. never a perfect situation, but, mm -hmm. uh, but a man, right? Because we're speaking about men here. Men have to lead women. Men have to have those characteristic traits to be masculine, dominant, assertive. And that's just naturally what women want. They want to fall into their man's arms and just feel like a little... That's submission. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you just submit to their man. Like, mm -hmm. we can't force you to submit, right? It's I so mean, nice, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Here. I just think that, like... He good. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I can't wait to submit to somebody like that, though. Right. Y'all don't mean nothing to submit to, to sometimes. Wanna, That's when you're in your soft girl era. <laughs> you be feeling like a little ass kid. <laughs> Will you still remember your question? I'm going to get to it once I finish up. Okay, cool. Um, so I truly believe that the soft girl era is a, is, a, is a good thing. It's a net positive for women in general, right? Um, and the reasons why is because, like, you're, one, you're in your natural form of being feminine, which is natural to you. You don't have to try to be that, but you do have to try to be masculine because you have to assert that masculine and feminine masculinity and femininity is just energies you know both genders can take it on we know how many men that's feminine out here these niggas is soy boys these niggas weak right uh, but women <laughs> women are definitely more masculine and you alluded to a good point that the reason why women are you know 
being more masculine now mm -hmm. is because men are weak and that's true because men are supposed to lead so if they're not leading that means that the woman then we has to pick up where the man is lacking mm -hmm. and then start to take on some of those masculine traits mm -hmm. so she could you know do some things of her own right. but um i think it's tr uh, stemmed from because here's here's the thing right let's get you ladies thinking a little bit so i truly think uh the whole soft girl error stemmed from like let's be in our soft girl error right here's a statistic uh tinder bumble all the dating apps um black women have the lowest approval rates right um yeah lowest approval rates meaning that uh dudes are just swiping left instead of swiping right now i brought that statistic up because that's a statistic where it's honest because no, no one it's data that comes and, and no one like no one's being asked you're not being asked like do you prefer a black girl or a white girl this and this or a spanish girl no one's being asked so they don't got a cap they don't got to be fugazi they could just be because they're swiping left and right mm -hmm. so all this data is being grabbed from these apps mm -hmm. and it was showing that black women have the lowest um approval rating so you mentioned that you know this whole stereotype that i agree with you you know that Black women want to get away from the whole ghetto, the whole this and this thing, right? Mm -hmm. Stereotypes are usually rooted in fact, right? Why do you think I kept saying Mexicans and Jamaicans? Because mm -hmm. them niggas work a lot. Hard to <laughs> tell. Mm -hmm. It just it is what it is. When we're talking about white fact? people, we're like, man, these, this food is bland. This food is dry. What is what is seasoning that? Respectfully, it's it usually, do unfortunately, salt and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. You need some salt on this. It's mm -hmm. usually rooted in some type of fact. Do you feel what I'm saying? Not saying that not all. Everybody. Not saying that everyone. Sure. Not but the stereotype. People. Yeah, the stereotype is that. rooted in some type of well. Why was people talking about these groups of people over here, black people in grape soda? Well, and uh, 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 what is it? Watermelon? What's the fruit? Watermelon. Mm. I actually Every hate watermelon. watermelon. That is disgusting. That's nasty. Yeah. I don't eat watermelon, though. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that what you alluded to. <laughs> <laughs> watermelon is good. That's good. <laughs> what you was alluding to, which I totally agree with, stereotypes play a big factor in that because all of you black ladies on this panel can be very feminine, actually very feminine, mm -hmm. but since it's just a Tinder profile and what they see out on social media of girls twerking, you know, black girls maybe being ratchet and stuff like that, a regular Joe Schmo just gonna be like, she could be ratchet, stereotype. You feel what I'm saying? But you maybe not like that. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. So in order to overcome those stereotypes, it's like, you know what? Let's be soft because, you know, it's, it's just not working. Um, mm -hmm. Here's another thing. And then you had a question? Um, I'm gonna get to the other thing, but keep your no, question keep in going, mind, keep and keep your question in mind too. Mm -hmm. uh, I truly believe um, that there's one party that put this all on. So you got the Democrats, you got the Republicans. Oh God! Who said Oh God? Yeah. Oh. Politics, really? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we not really. You know, I can argue with you. Just, just when you speak, just you know, put the mic there. Yeah, yeah you. No, you go, Mamacita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know un poquito, I know a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> papi over here. <laughs> so, uh, and I actually wanted this is a kind of question, but show of hands. Who do you think, what party, Democrat or Republican, what party do you think promoted <laughs> sexual liberation, boss babe, independent woman, men? You, you don't gotta show your emotions, men. Be more emotional. Let's Democrat. be gender neutral. Democrat. Y'all think? Mm -hmm. Let's show hands. Okay. Democrat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And do you think that promotion of all of that, so think about what sexual liberation is. Think about what uh, all of those terms that I said is. Do you think that it made men more feminine? Show hands. Yes or no? Mm. Well, you think women being that way? No, no just it? men. I'm speaking about men now. So all the stuff that the Democrats promoted, right? Mm -hmm. So they promote uh, this... Generally speaking, they promote sexual liberation. They promote gender equality. Uh, they promote uh, uh, men need to be more in tune and more emotional. Men need to be vulnerable, right? They, that's what they promote. Um, <coughs> and they also promoted, they're, they're the ones that did the whole welfare thing. So oh, if the woman is not living in a, in a uh, if the man is not living in a the home, then we're going to give her assistance. 
right? Mm -hmm. So they promoted all these things, right? Now, if connected dots to where I'm going, so these things, mm -hmm. do you think these things that they promoted and invertedly made men more feminine? Yes or no? Yes and no. No, I feel like that's Just, a choice. Okay. <laughs> yes, but it shouldn't have. Okay, you said yes, choice. What about you? Who, me? Yeah, you said yes or no. Mm -hmm. What about oh. you? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Tanika? This is the one time I don't know. <laughs> um, I gotcha. want to say, um, gotcha. shoot. I feel like it could easily be, easily be used as an excuse. Mm -hmm. That's why I said it shit. Like it should be as an excuse. Uh, like, to be lazy. Uh, that, mm -hmm. Use that yeah. as, as an excuse. To slack. To, be mm -hmm. to do okay. less. Cool. What about you, Angelina? <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna blame. I'm not gonna talk politics, but if I'm gonna blame anybody, it's gonna be yourself and your parents mm -hmm. and okay. how they raise okay. you. So, let, a question: Parents, right? <clears throat> Who promotes a nuclear family? The Democrats or the Republicans? I'm not gonna talk politics. Well, 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 who do you think promotes? A, so a nuclear family is a two-parent household. Right. Oh. So who do you think promotes a two-parent household? Like we need to be together. Republicans. Republicans. Say Republicans. Republicans. I'm not going to talk politics for no, real. It's not, you're not talking politics. I'm actually just saying terms of what they promote, and you're just giving an answer. But Democrats or Republicans, which party? Republicans. Okay, Republicans. So think about what you just said. You said that, uh, well, you think, you know, it's all based off, you know, how you were raised and, you know, this and this. So, well, if the Republicans are promoting a two family household, and the Democrats are giving the one family household government assistance, which is inadvertently incentivizing women to not have the man in the home. They're incentivizing women to not have the father in the home. Listen, if you don't have this nigga at home, I'm going to give you money. The Republicans are like, no, if you don't have this nigga at home, I'm not giving you no money. Work out your relationship. So is this correlating a little bit? I'm understanding where you're coming from. Okay. But you good. No, I wasn't getting on you, but you good. I wanted to <laughs> express yeah. that. So I got passionate for a second there. Mm. But okay, you good. What about you? Mo? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He knows her name. What's the question again? <laughs> he made me forget. Like, because uh, you went somewhere with that, and I was like, <laughs> I was, before you went with that welfare thing, I was like, okay, Cooley. And then you went there, and I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> okay. Because so I got the question. I got the question. Yeah, so what I'm just saying. <laughs> so these things that the that I stated. So men being more vulnerable and emotional and gender neutral. You know, you can men can play women's sports and women can play men's sports and sexual liberation. Oh, girl, live your best life. Be a boss, babe. Go out there, have slut walk and all of these things. Um, my question is, which party promoted that? Well, clearly, when it, when you get more into it, when you're saying, like, homosexuality and different things like that, I feel like Republicans are less accepting to that. So I'm just going to say Democrats. Okay. Um, but then what was the other question? Well, it was kind of on her. Um, that's why I went to that other question. So, yeah, that, that was it. But what, what, uh, you wanted to say something. Yeah, it was the welfare thing. Like, yeah. I get the, like, the way that you structure it. You say, like, oh, if you have, uh, one family home or one, one income household, you don't have the guy in there. But it, I, it's back to, you, okay? Yeah, I had to burp. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go no, ahead. good. Um, but it's back to the idea that, like, okay, if you have, um, one parent or one person in the home, then we'll give you all this type of assistance. It always, it doesn't always work that way. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. always exceptions to the rule. That, that's mm -hmm. all. It's yeah. just the way that you're making it seem like people who are one parent households get all of these, all of, the, all of these benefits, all the benefits for being a one parent. That's not. Yeah, that's, that's not actually. True. I I'm, wish it was. I'm actually saying the opposite. I'm saying that it's not a benefit. There are still people with the the dude. And still get it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because they make low. They make uh, not enough money. Mm -hmm. Low income. Yeah, household. right. So, but my point is that you. I just like when people paint full pictures. Yeah, but the, <laughs> what I'm saying is this, right? It don't matter because my point was that you're incentivizing, even if they are in the home. So, so they low income, right? You got the man, you got the woman, low income. This nigga making 
twenty thousand dollars a year. She making twenty thousand dollars a year. That's Fifty horrible. fifty. Let's just say. <laughs> Give an example, right? They making the same, but and they get in that welfare. She's receiving the welfare because you know there it's a low income. She's still incentivized, like, well, this nigga slacking, he's slacking. Well, he could leave. I'm gonna still be getting these checks from the government. So it's still an incentive. It's human nature. I'm not putting it on women. If you incentivize a nigga, if it was on us, if you incentivize us, ho be gone. (laughs) (laughs) So it's human nature. Anytime, it's like a kid, right? You incentivize any human being uh, over anything, you know, they're gonna take advantage of the system. That's just P P P P P. Depends on the person. Everyone when the COVID happened. I wish you did that. We were Why? just talking about P P P. Let's stop here. Sure no, because but this we were saying how example. we didn't take advantage of the system. No, yeah, I didn't. I so not that. everybody's going to. Yeah, I not don't everybody's going to take the incentive. That's an exception to the rule. Like I, it's, it's totally different. I'm not going to speak about myself, but pick. Listen to what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that. Uh, it's an incentive so people take advantage of the system just like they took advantage of the system because it's an incentive to get the PPP loan where niggas really didn't have no businesses, niggas really didn't have employees, niggas really didn't, wasn't really having no businesses. They were capping. And that woman, she really love her, man. Them niggas do live together, but she's still collecting that check. But when that nigga mess up, oh yeah, it's an incentive to be like, ah, be gone, I'ma still collect my checks. Or it's an incentive to be like, I don't really need you like that because I got this check. That's all I'm saying. People take advantage of systems, males and females. Well, let's go back to the question that I have for you. Oh, Next. wait, no, no, no. You the last one. I got to answer. You got to answer the question. Okay. So what was the question? So it's not the... Dang. What the Democratic... <laughs> yeah, the answer which, real quick. Which which Democratic Party? Oh, which, yeah. Which party yeah, is it? The Republicans yeah, or the Democratic the Party? The Democrats, party. of course. All right, cool, cool. All right, so you could go to your question then. Which one um, to ask me? I forgot it. You said that you want your woman to be a princess and you don't care about what she makes. You don't care about what she does. None of that matters. Yes. So how do you want your woman, if you were looking for one, to advertise herself? If she's, you know, naturally, uh-huh. she, you know, she worked her ass off to, has, to have what she has and how is she supposed to advertise herself to you? Yeah. So that you don't think that, oh, she's a bum. She just wants to eat off of me. You know, like well, that she's doing too much. Because she's doing she too much right. right. So I want to know how right. you want somebody right. who's successful yeah. as a woman to advertise herself to you. Yeah. Honestly. If the woman is out there making her bread, cool. Make your bread. If you could still somehow, it's going to be hard, maintain your femininity after you're conquering the world. And when you're conquering things and dealing with a whole lot, that naturally makes you harder. <laughs> so it naturally makes you more masculine. But if you are praising to the Lord and you're able to still maintain your femininity, kudos to you, that's still attractive. I'll still take you on. But the probability of that happening is extremely low because we all know as human beings, the more we go through and the more we overcome, the more harder we is and the more masculine we become. The thing is that women are attracted to masculine men, but men aren't attracted to masculine women. So since, so say me and you, CC, me and you are Ooh. going through something. We, we on the same path. Mm-hmm. We on the same path. We okay. working. And let's say uh, we surgeons. Going to be a surgeon. So we go through college together. We hand in hand. We at the same university. We doing it all. We are spending a whole lot of time, attention, and our energy into this field of business to be a surgeon. And it's taking a toll on us. You know what I mean? We speaking to each other like, yo, man, I, oh, I had to do this paper and I had to figure this out. And uh, it's just so much I had to speak to this boss and the other doctor and the director here at this hospital. It's just a whole lot going on, right? Mm-hmm. And it's pressures that we have to deal with, right? <laughs> so we both going to go through pressures. But say even if we both overcome those pressures, To overcome those pressures, we have to tune ourselves. So then we'll be a little bit more assertive. Then we'll be a little bit more non-agreeable because we went through other things. So since we overcame it, we know like we're not going to make that mistake again. No, non-agreeable. So all of these traits, A-type personality traits, are naturally more masculine is what I'm saying. So even though we're on the same path and we're experiencing things from the world, we are both going to become hardened. The key thing is that a hardened man that overcomes his traumas 
is sexy because it's masculinity. A harder woman that overcame her traumas is not sexy because men, we don't want a masculine woman is what I'm saying. Then you bring it on to me. What would I look for in a woman? When a woman is advertising herself, it could be in a multi multitude of situations. It could be at the club. It could be at Starbucks. It could be on social media. So what I say is this, less is more. Less is more meaning that uh, if you are uh, at the club and um, you have a story and you twerking, uh, don't put that on your story. You get what I'm saying? So less is more. You don't want to put sexuality out there like that because you're going to attract the wrong type of men. Not only that, it's going to be hard for you to know which men are actually genuine with their intentions if you're sexualizing yourself like that. So what I would say how women should advertise themselves, less is more. Be feminine, dress modest, speak nicely. Men will still sexualize you no matter how you are. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? That's what you want. What attracted you to your girlfriend? Can you tell us how you guys fell in love? I want to know the story. She want to know how she advertised herself. That got your attention. She was sitting at Starbucks and he looked at her and he was that's the one. <laughs> she didn't even had to open her mouth. He was like, "That's her right there." She ain't never do nothing. Did you know her from like? Did you know her from high school? Did she always have her hair done? Did she have good sneakers on her feet? Was her teeth always like? What was it? What's her teeth? All I'm saying is that less is more. You get what I'm saying? So the less you got for its opposites. Less is more for a woman, and more is less for a man. Like, the more he does for the woman, the less he'll get back in return from her, if that makes sense. It just don't make sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll, explain, I'll explain more, right? So, I get what you're saying. No, that makes sense, okay. right, that less is more, right? But what is it about the woman, right, that makes you, you say this is the woman that I like. Like, for example, when I like a man, I like him to smell good. I like him to oh, have his... To that's that's okay, what I want to know. you want the detail oh, stuff yes. from the beginning? That's why I asked oh, you how you meet okay. your girl. Okay, well, let's just say this, right? You know, girl, <laughs> I'm a guy, as you know what I mean? So, feminine traits, uh, men are very visual creatures, so it's not much, is what I'm saying. Like, we're very simple creatures, and we're visual, so... What you expect in the hair, you're not is, is not what you think in the hair. Uh, skinny waist, wide hips, fat booty. I'm attracted, right? <laughs> right after I'm attracted, then I will approach. Then it's about how you're conveying yourself with me. If you are, you know, you know, doing too much, because less is more. If you're doing too much, and I'm like, ah, I see any sense of maybe you are erratic or you got too many tattoos and stuff like that. It's like, uh, that means that you probably went through some stuff. And it it just paints a different picture because I've been through a whole lot myself, Yo. so I can see. Yeah, tattoos is a red flag. We talk tattoos about red flags. Red flag. Are you tattoos is a red flag. No, I, I know a woman who got a whole sleeve and she's a clinical therapist. Tattoos is a red flag. Like, Beautiful. What? Who knows? Smashing her clients. She's a very intelligent woman. Oh, intelligence is. All right, and men, she ain't smashing all, yo, he yeah, did men something. Don't care about <laughs> yeah. But yo, this is this is But I just I would argue artist, that right? men do care because they care at, to some degree. I mean, I would hope that they would care with what the woman is wearing, how she carries, like That's how she said, yes. dresses and all of yes. those things. And unfortunately, we live in a society that your looks can't pay for those things. And your parents may raise you up, but there comes a there's a day for everybody where your parents going to be like <laughs> You gotta, you, you, I, you, I can't keep footing this bill. Yeah, it's and if you don't have a man person. that's gonna be there for you to foot the bill, you're gonna have to have money. You're gonna have to get a job. Oh, Not so, everybody has the yeah, luxury to stay is, at home. What I'm saying is, ladies, uh, independence and boss babe doesn't mean. Oh, I'm not saying be a bum. I'm saying be self sufficient. Go get the bag. Mm -hmm. Proud of you, sis. Do your thing. Proud of you too, sis. Your journalism. Do your thing. All I'm saying is since you are liberated and you have the same privileges and rights that men have in this working force world, get to the bag. But since you get into the bag, just understand that men aren't attracted to these traits that made you accomplish the bag. We're attracted to the soft traits. So even though you are building up these more stronger, less softer traits, know that when you advertising yourself, 
advertise yourself in a much softer way. That's all I'm saying. I'm never saying don't be self-sufficient. I have a daughter. So on that, I feel like this generation now, it's all about what you look like physically. Men... It's always been like that. So yeah, sexualizing. Men, n- now... Wait, let me, in, let me get to her real quick. Hold that thought. The second time you said that. So... Like... <clears throat> yeah, on the whole sexualizing thing, right? Uh, well, like I said, we could say, yeah, men sexualize women. <laughs> I, you could have they a do. woman in the whole right. A woman could walk into Walmart with baggy and y'all sweats, think everything is for a dirty y'all. t-shirt. It's like everything and, a woman and, do and do nigga still gonna motherfucker like, like, that's gonna mm, sexualize. Like, damn, she got some nice ass titties. Like, nigga no, still gonna sexualize. Yeah, nigga still like, dang. Her elbow's nice, though. Like, niggas <laughs> like, still gonna look for something. Niggas yeah. still gonna look for something. So I'm not arguing that, baby girl. I'm not arguing that men don't sexualize women. But I'll say this. The less promiscuous and provocative you are dressing, the less of that attention you'll get. If you dress up in a little skirt or a tight, tight skirt and you walk into Walmart, you're gonna have Everybody's a lot of, lot of niggas Correct. gonna be staring. And you're gonna have a lot of niggas approaching. If you walk in there with some baggy sweats and a t-shirt, niggas still gonna approach too. But the key thing is that less a men will approach. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, right. but and and I say this for a reason, right? Is because I have a daughter. I want you ladies to understand. Uh, God is love, and and God gave us free will, right? The reason why God gave us free will is because God wants to experience love back, right? If he didn't give us free will, we would be all robots and he wouldn't be able to experience genuine love back, right? So free God giving us free will is literally love because it's like you're free to do whatever you want. But with this free will now, since you have free will, I have the ability from you humans to experience genuine love back those who seek me. Make sense? So it works the same way when it comes to everything in life. Women, if you promote yourself out there to the streets and you're dressing provocative, guess what? You want to experience genuine love too. And we all know that men are going to sexualize you anyway. They're always going to want to look to hit. But the more sexualized, the more you sexualize yourself, the harder it is for you to notice and to pick out the guys who are actually genuine because you are putting yourself out there like that. But the less, if you take it back a notch, less is more, and you're not promoting yourself and sexualizing yourself like that, then you'll be able, you have a better landscape and a view to see, okay, who's truly giving me genuine attention? Because the pool will be less. It'll be less to work with. Make sense? Does that yeah. correlate? And you shake your head, no. But that I feel doesn't like make that's sense. what's promoted today, though. Women it, yeah. that are <laughs> shaking their asses on social no, media, big so, fat, and men go for that. Surprise, doing all kinds but, of but, stuff. But, uh, exactly. And, woman. Exactly. No, for real. But, but the point, ladies, let me can say I say something? The niggas strong. Y- y'all go niggas, for the weak ones, basically. No, listen, ladies, no for ladies, real. You always get it mixed no, up. Men, men put girls in two categories. It's sex category and then there's relationship categories so yeah the girls twerking and the girls so, out there sexualizing herself they're gonna garner a lot of male attention but the male attention that they're garnering is niggas that want to hit mm-hmm. that's what i'm saying they only want to hit men want to hit a roach so, like exactly. <laughs> it don't matter anything walking thank you these right. days niggas, like, niggas, niggas, they could have a good woman and they'll still go out and step out of the relationship with a girl that has no respect for herself. Because respect for her is there's that. issues well, on the side of a woman that's dealing with a man like you. Not like you. Have have a woman that's like that. Trust me, she has complaints too. I have friends that are like that. And the then there are women perfect. who are like us. Life is not perfect. Nobody's life is yeah. perfect, so stop it. That's okay. What but perfect. what I'm saying is, no matter what end of the spectrum you're coming from, if you are somebody like me who I love to dress sexy, it's yeah. for me, it's not for no men, you want to look that's on you. But I wake up every day and I do this for me. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I can get a man and have issues. If I'm a modest woman from head to toe cover, guess what? She yeah, complaining still, about stuff too. Mm-hmm. It really don't matter. Right. You got to just show up in the world how you want to be. Mm-hmm. And the man that's for you will come for you. And don't be toxic. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're in a healthy place in your life. Okay. And that's it. Because so none of this other logic. stuff is going <laughs> to... Can, I, not can I say right? something? I actually agree on some of what you said oh. about not promoting yeah, on, let me all of those. respond to this, what you said. Because this your logic. You had a whole statement there. Your statement was, be who you are, girl. You know, get the bag, dress sexy, be what you want to be. Okay, that's pretty much what you said. Just be who you are, period. Okay, be who you are. 
Let, and, and be healthy. And Don't be, forget that because okay. that's important. When you're being cool. who you are, it got to come from that Let's place. Let's use your same logic. I'm right. going to use your same logic and we're going to put it to the males and we're okay. going to see how it doesn't work. Right? Okay. And then we're going to re- reinvert it to back to you I'm and I'm going to let you know how this doesn't work. So be who you are. <laughs> right? I'm fat, eating Cheetos at home, playing video games, and I'm a guy. But I deserve a bad chick. I sound stupid. Right? No, you deserve I sound a chick stupid. who loves you for no, you. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I sound stupid saying that I'm sitting at home eating Cheetos and playing video games, but I deserve a bad chick. That's what I'm saying. I would sound stupid for saying that I deserve a bad chick when I'm not doing anything or having any traits that women actually desire. You get what I'm saying? So it's illogical. It's irrational. There's a whole you get population what I'm that so likes what I'm telling you, and eat Cheetos and play video I'm, games. It's like, no, what are you talking okay, about? Now that's, <laughs> you sound like Mo over here. That's the exception to the rule. And no, I've I'm never not. heard. Okay, let's just show of hands. Any of you women going to date a nigga that's at home playing video games, lives with it, in his mom's basement, and you're going to take him seriously in a relationship? Look at that bird. It's only how many of us? Let's just say it's a girl out in uh, Ohio that it take him to this one it girl. Place. No, like, no, I'm not nobody taking... wants a bomb. Listen, nobody wants that. Let me, period. Let me lay my plan. I got you. What I'm telling you, exactly. No one wants a bomb. Yeah, so, it's only when it's good for him. Exceptions <laughs> apply. Okay, only when I've never said no exceptions. Making a point. No, I've never go said ahead, no exceptions at all. I'm literally speaking about the rule. Okay. So what I'm telling you is that your statement of what you said, yeah, be yo, be who you are, be yourself, and go. If men, if we use that same logic, we won't get what we want. So I'm telling you that with that state of mind, you won't get what you want because. All us human beings, we have to understand the opposite sex in order to get their attention from the opposite sex. So we got to understand them. what do men like? What do women like? When you right. figure out what they like, then you acquiesce your behaviors mm-hmm. and you start thinking differently. You start behaving differently and you start attracting the people that you actually want. So that's what I'm saying. But you saying just be yourself and all this other stuff that doesn't is not going to get you Because I don't anywhere. feel like you have to... Like, okay, I feel like, like I said, with the soft girl era, what did I say? I think you do that for you. You show up in the world that way for you. Now, yes, ultimately, we don't want to die alone. We all want to have a partner. I Absolutely. get that. But at the end of the day, you're not doing that specifically, like, only to get a man. Mm-hmm. Like, to satisfy his every need. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. not that. And there's going to be somebody for everybody. Everybody is different. Absolutely. And like I said, it don't matter. If you are modest women... You can attract a, a man like him. Okay, cool. But there's men like you that got a modest woman and still cheating and still doing this and still doing that. So it doesn't matter. I could show up in the world like this, right? And have a good man go home, treat that man like a king. Like when I was in a relationship, he got treated very well. I cooked, I cleaned, took care of the kids. And we were good. And I still, everything. and he still cheated. Okay, so, look, look, so you get what I'm saying? Not, I, I made his lunch. Listen, I made his, I mean, let's take what you said. He had lunchables every day. Let's and he still cheated. Yeah, let's not let's keep that logic. Let's keep that logic. Let's Come on, we know how she get down in the kitchen. You know what I'm just saying? Ladies, please, one mic at a time. Because I need to reply to that. So you said what you said. Cool. Great. And yeah, facts. Niggas still gonna cheat. But what did I just say? You need to understand the opposite sex. Guess what? Niggas is only as faithful as their options. That's a fact. So if you talking to a nigga, oh, it is a fact. If you speak into... So then you have to know that, right? So you want to cry in a Lamborghini or you want to cry in a Toyota Corolla? I'm crying both. So what I'm saying is that (laughs) the problem is... Either way, I'm crying. I don't want to cry. One, you're going to garn... So this is what I'm saying, right? If cheating (laughs) is the end-all, be-all... To mm-hmm. women, and you, it hurts your emotions. It's not. A, I'm not promoting cheating. Right? I'm just going off of what you said, right? So if cheating is the end all be all. You are prior, prioritizing the wrong thing in that male, because since males are only as faithful as their options, why would you prioritize his fidelity? That's a silly thing to prioritize, because you'll never be able to keep a man because you're prioritizing the wrong thing. What you should be prioritizing is the other characteristic traits in him: his leadership, his masculinity. Is he protecting and providing for you and willing to take a bullet for you? Those are the things you pr- uh, prioritize, because then you'll be able to choose a more masculine, dominant male that you truly would love, admire, and respect. Because guess what? The rich nigga would cheat on you. 
and a broke nigga would cheat on you. But guess what? The but guess what? The broke That's nigga don't have the, the broke nigga yeah. don't got the money, the security, the any uh, anything like that. So it's so okay as long as he can take care of you and lead. Is what you're I'm not saying, saying it's, it's okay. I yeah. said it again. Cheating is not okay. What I'm telling you is that you just prioritizing the wrong thing. It's like a male. If but, I'm prioritizing her to be paying the bills. Uh, but she's not paying the bills. She don't even want to pay the bills anyway. But I'm prioritizing. Do you want it? respect I'm in a relationship? The yes thing. or no? Do you want respect in a relationship? You want obsession? Do you want respect no. in a relationship? Wait, so oh, men, men. In your relationship, no, do you men want is respect? One thing. Okay, men. So do, men do, is do, one does thing. men want respect? It's all respect. Okay, does all men want respect, respect from their woman? It's, men prefer. I truly believe. Men prefer respect over love because respect okay. is everything. So at the Even end of the day, before the woman has to res- uh, love you, she has to respect you first. So with so cheating, yes. you don't think that that's disrespecting the relationship and disrespecting mm-hmm. me? The man cheating? Yeah. Anybody cheating? Well, cheating is cheating. Cheating, cheating is cheating, cheating. Period. But I'm just saying overall, you don't Wait. think that's disrespecting what me if she and the relationship? On you? Yeah, I think How? cheating versus men and women is the same. Oh, oh we already went Let's not get into this. No, no, let's not get into this. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it again. Heard it three times. Let's talk about We got a few minutes before this podcast ends. Can I get my point out first? That's a good one. Which one? Tanika, go ahead. Get your point in. I just wanted to say to you, since you say that this year you're going to be in your, your feminine and you're going to be in your... You're soft. <laughs> I would take what I see on social media completely out of the picture mm-hmm. if I were you. Those people's relationships do not last. Were you talking to me? Uh, or her? No. The, 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 I don't think it's um, just for me and my advice would be not to make it a standard at all. Because those things are not realistic. They're Come not. On. Social media is they're fake. Not, yeah. it's a fake. They don't it's stay. It's about the image. I don't. I don't look at social media and say that this is what I want my relationship to be. It's just what I'm seeing these Ooh. days, not only on social media, but in general. Faithful Faithfulness has gone out the door. Right. It's like nobody cares about it anymore, and that's important you to me. Because Martin Luther it. King wasn't faithful. Uh, but I uh, David, David, I David wasn't faithful. But uh, do you so, honestly feel like that's, like, Okay for you to I'm go and cheat, and she's just okay. supposed to be like, no "I already cheated." It. No, no. I, no listen, I, I'm, 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 I'm not promoting it. it. I'm saying it's not it. But then that's but then why we become an, hard and aggressive. There's another right. reason why and people angry. prioritize cheat. I'm not, um, infidelity. See where and your masculinity is coming in, though. You gotta prioritize happiness. A condom can't protect you from everything. Wait, what you say? A condom cannot protect you from everything. We talk about a whole bunch of other things, right? I'm just saying. My point is that. No one's promoting cheating. I'm just saying, ladies, you sticking on one point where it's like you, it's the exception still. You you focused on the exception when you should be looking at the rules. Since generally speaking, men are only as faithful as their options. Why would you prioritize infidelity? Since generally speaking, women don't want to provide for a man. Why would I? Pro- why would I prioritize her financial stability? It makes no sense. So stop prioritizing that, and you'll be more happier. You're, mm-hmm. You'll get better results. Is what I'm saying. No, I'm not gonna say everybody cheat, but male and females, they both cheat. But like he was stating earlier, no matter oh, yeah. what, you're gonna cry in a Lambo with a nigga that cheat. You're gonna cry in a Toyota with a nigga that cheat. Either way, you cry. Either way, you're gonna get cheated on. <laughs> okay, so, so we gotta wrap this up real quick because the recorder is stopping. So because we've been going for too long. <laughs>